Hello drummers, Rob Lytton here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this full video song lesson for my online members over at the website. Today I want to show you how to play the song Maggie May by Rod Stewart, drums by Mickey Waller. And Mickey comes in with these two snare drum flams. And throughout the song, he's playing relatively simple uh, drum beats, but the bass drum improvises all over the place, especially towards the end of the song. So this song really would be a lesson for beginners, but because of the reading required, if you want to play it note for note, pretty much every other bar, it, the, the drum beat, the bass drum specifically changes. And so you're constantly trying to read what the bass drum's doing. So it... Because of that, really, this becomes more of an intermediate drummer, although there's nothing in this song that a new drummer or beginner drummer could play quite simply. Um, so you'll see what I mean as we go through this. We start off with these two flam snare drum notes. One, two, three, four. Very, very simple. Three, four, flam snare drum. And then we come in with our first drum beat um, with just quarter notes being played on the hi-hat. Now, uh, Mickey's hi-hat is kind of a little bit washy. Later in the song, halfway through to the end, it's definitely sort of open. But even at the beginning of the song, wherever in it is closed, it sort of still has a little bit of a wash to it. I'm going to be playing it simply closed. So we're playing quarter notes on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four. Very, very simple drum beat for the first bar there. And then immediately in the second bar, we get some improvisation with it, where he plays one and two and three and four and one. So these bass drums falling in between the hi-hats. One, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. Third bar back to one, two, three and four. Then our next drum fill at the end of that line with one, two, three and four and. So just simply playing four and then the and also with the left hand. One, two, three and four. And you want to go into a crash symbol, as I was about to play there, but, um, but Mickey doesn't. He goes straight back to the closed hi-hat instead. So he doesn't always play a drum fill, a crash symbol, at the end of every drum fill, as we'll see. So that first line, I count myself in, first two beats arrested with the intro. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two. I'll play it so up to speed for you in a moment without the microphone so you can hear just the drums. 